or sound better. Hi there guys, Red Hat Roman in cooperation with WA Production is speaking. In this tutorial we will take a look at this super awesome FL Studio project that we have brought exclusively for you, me and the WA Production team. And uh, hmm. Hmm, sorry, I got a delay on my screen. And uh, uh, I will go through the project and you will then be able to download it for free. You will find the download link in the description of this video, so be sure to check it out. So, playing the track in 3, 2, 1, go. So that's about it. I'm sorry about the uh, clicking. Uh, I had to rotate all of the unrotated samples to some mixer channels because of the delay of my of the FL Studio when I'm recording. So it so I wanted to be sure that it will be all in a rhythm. So yeah, that's that's the FLP and. Uh, I'm quite not sure how to call it maybe you know reveals recording style or you can hear by your own that it's more progressive house situated but the bass line itself the mid bass line is a bit dirty which I really like and that makes this track special so um, in this in this case in this FLP I didn't use only Pro L on my master channel, but I did use also this Isotope Ozone 7, um, and I will show you the settings now. And I hope it won't be causing any troubles. Okay, I got it. Cool. So uh, here is this equalizer I used, and also some. Uh, multi-band dynamics compressor uh, compressor <laughs> compressor and this REQ uh, by waves is just to raise up the volume I'm not sure why why I use this one you can use any type of just volume boosters and uh, this is just for measuring and this is the limiter that I'm using all the time so that's the master channel and now um, yeah let's take it from the very beginning what we've got here yeah that is correct that is the lead sound which is going from the very beginning of the track to the very end of the not track but but a preview the, the main difference here is is creating the you know kind of automation which is going from 0 to 100 and the 100 is set exactly when the drop comes so yeah the lead sound it is made by serum nexus and silent one the serum is just to create the uh, like surround atmosphere of the sound oops you can hear it's really like soft preset this next is one it's creating the main magic I believe uh, it's like Paul van Dyke Pikes or something like that from the uh, internal library in Nexus and this this preset is also quite cool 
and all of this it sounds like this all of those sounds are routed to one channel only you can see this crazy fx channel but at the end it's not that crazy because uh you can see some just you know rev reverb delays three equalizers which are mainly like cutting off the lower frequencies and uh boosting the higher and mid frequencies and this sausage federals which is uh also adding some color and uh, make the things thumbier <laughs> or yeah <laughs> i'm using the the one by Dada Life, not the one by Carnage. So, yeah, quite a big difference, but uh, not that hard to achieve this type of effect channel, chain. So, that's the lead sound. Uh, this automation is, is for a kickstart, which is uh, created the sidechain effect. This kick. It's taken from a pack by WA production. What about fat progressive kicks and drums? And here we have the main mid bass bass uh, line. You can see two silent ones and one serum and one nexus uh which are those four guys all of them are routed to this sand which is acting like a submix in our case and uh they are compressed by this ssl and uh, which is great is is this c6 like dynamics multiband compressor which is compressing the mid mid frequencies and adding a bit of uh, lower mid and lower frequencies which is causing the nice uh, like effect and make it more more fat and bottom sound so yeah those are the the, the bass sound and as you can see it comes in the middle of the breakdown it comes in the in the game and uh, it is raising up thanks to this uh, filter envelope as well and it comes on 100 percent when the drop comes uh, the main also the really important uh, thinking there is this sub sub bass which is adding the final body to the drop so there is a actual difference between this breakdown where uh, nearly all of those elements are in and the drop itself uh, also quite cool is are these uh, crash samples uh, by the way all of those or 90% of, of those presets are taken from this uh, progressive fed progressive kicks and drums pack by AA production and <laughs> If you listen carefully, you can hear uh, the crashes in there and these rides mainly, and they are creating some really nice like atmosphere in the background of it. So there is always some, something happening, and it the, the sound itself is not that boring. Uh, those samples are some you know effect samples, effect samples, uh, uplifters, impacts, mainly white, no white noise effects. Uh, this one is uh, uplifters uh, key labeled at G, uh, created by just rising synth. Uh, this clip is piano from Nexus, which is right there. Not that special, but you know, just also adding atmosphere to the track. And uh, this is just a clip for snare buildup. Here we have some uh, big snares, and this is also cool. Yeah, you know, just uh, a fill created by half of all of it is created by clips and the other half by samples. And the last part of the track are these uh, plugs, also by created by Nexus. And yeah, they are introducing the drop melody from in the breakdown and they are going you know lower by this uh, filter envelope and they are going back in the game in the second half of the drop so yeah that's it
I really hope you like this FLB and you will use it as much as you can. Um, okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. And also, you know, tell us if you like this FLP or not or what FLP you are mainly looking for uh, from us. So, yeah, <laughs> have a nice day and take care, guys. Bye.